What is going on friends and welcome back to the Minecraft Hub channel. Today we are going to be looking at some amazing starter houses in Minecraft. These are great designs for your world. All of them are fairly unique and you might have to build them in different biomes but I think they all add a super interesting aspect to your world. First up we are starting with FWIP and what I really like about this base is the tower. So this tower I think would be great for possibly enchanting and this whole build is actually made out of super easy to get blocks at the beginning of your world. So as you can see the tower is made of stone, cobblestone, and andesite which I think is great because that's one of those blocks that you're really not going to use for anything but building. It's also made entirely out of spruce wood after that, which I think is also super easy to get, assuming you're near one of those biomes. This build is so unique though because of this tower. Of course, the house below it will be great for storage, all your furnaces, everything like that, but I think the tower especially is just a fun little aspect to your build that's really gonna take it to another level. He also shows you how to do some interior work as well. Here he's got a storage system. This is going up the tower, which I think is great. It shows that you have about four floors to really work with here, and then you can do something fun on top of the tower. This is what he chose to do, but of course you can switch it up and really make it your own. He's got farmland around the build, of course, which I think is great as well, because that's always essential for your starter bases, having that farmland to get some early game food. Flip is really a great builder and this video has a ton of tricks that you can do in your build to really make it look as good as it does here. If you want to check out this tutorial or any of the other tutorials we're featuring in today's video, all the links are in the description down below so you can go and check them out for yourself and build it in your own Minecraft world. Next up we are checking out one of my favorite starter house builders and that is Dio Rods. His videos are super easy to follow along with and they're always very beautiful builds. He does a lot of builds in specific biomes and this one is his desert biome build. What's really great about this is also his block palette. So of course he's got the sandstone but he's also using the granite which is another block that you're really not going to use other than building at the beginning of your game. He's also adding in some stairs and other features like that around different parts of the build especially the base to really give it some extra depth. And if you combine stairs with windows it's really going to make your build look good as well. Not only are all these blocks in this build fairly easy to get early game, but it's also a very simple build as well, but it looks really good. I really love that not only the base is granite, but he's also got a granite stripe in the middle. I think that really adds to it, and it's just a very nice little base that you can work out of and build everything else you're going to do in your world. I think a build like this is also great for transforming kind of a desert village area. You could have multiple of these around a village, kind of change them up a little bit, and it would really look amazing as a whole village area. You don't see a lot of desert builds, so it's really nice seeing some great options of how you can actually build something amazing in the desert. Next up we are checking out Mythical Sausage and this is another very unique build because this is a build on a small island in a lake. So of course you don't even have to have the island here to do it, but he has it here in his. I think this is a great water build, especially if you're playing maybe in hardcore Minecraft and trying to get away from some of the mobs. This would be a great build for you because you kind of distance yourself from everything except for possibly drowned. The block palette for this is almost entirely oak, spruce, and cobblestone, so very easy to get beginning game. All you have to do is chop down some trees around your area, and you should be able to build this out in the water. It's also fairly small as well, meaning that you can really just do this very early on in your game. It's not really going to take you that much wood to build, and I think as well as the last one, this would make a very cool village transformation as well. If you have kind of a village on the water, this would be a great addition. It's still kind of got a vanilla feel to it, so it's not going to be too different from the rest of the builds in that area. You don't really see too many starter house builds out on the water, and I think this is a really great example that you don't really need a ton of land to make some great builds, especially for your starter house. Next up we are looking at Stevler, who's got this amazing little medieval base over here. I think not only is the base great, but he also does some kind of custom dark oak trees around it, which really look great as well. I think this is a great showcase that it's not only the base that has to look good, you really have to kind of terraform the area, make some beautiful trees, things like that, to really take your building to the next level. He's also got some examples of what you can do on the interior, some use of trapdoors, a lot of item frames, really made the inside look nice. 
This build is super easy to follow along with as well. He does a full block by block tutorial of the whole thing which makes it very easy. The block palette is super easy as well, a lot of oak and spruce as you can see with some cobblestone as well and also some stone bricks which look very nice especially in your early game builds. The terraforming around it is great too, he shows you how to do uh, these kind of custom trees. It's really just adding a few blocks to the standard dark oak tree and then adding uh, some different lighting as well which really makes it look like this area is being lived in. He does a great job with the farmland too which I think looks amazing. This whole build is just really cool looking. It's even got a little chimney puffing out smoke as well which is always a nice touch to your builds. This build should also be fairly easy to build pretty early on in the game. All you need is the stone bricks, some spruce, and some oak, which I think is all super easy to get. You might have to cut down a lot of trees to get the wood for it, but it shouldn't be too hard, especially with his very easy to follow along with tutorial. So I highly recommend you go check this video out. The link is down in the description below. Next up we have one of my favorite builds in today's video and that is this tree house. So this whole tree is actually the base. It's super small so you're really not going to have a ton of room to work with but I think this is a great early game base. It's got a few chests, things you can throw down and it even has some furnaces and a very nice little roof. The whole thing of course has a ladder on the inside which is how you get from the base up to the top where you have your bedroom. You could even have a small storage room on the bottom here and you could turn this into a really cool base or even an entrance to a much larger base later on. I think this is one of the easiest builds that you could do for your starter base rather than just building a cave. I think it's a super interesting idea to just build a slightly wider tree, make it look nice by adding some different spruce slabs and fences, and then topping it off with a domed leaf roof so that you actually have some room for a bed, some chests, some furnaces, all the things you're going to need early game. This is definitely the easiest build we are showing off today. It's super natural and he does a full tutorial of how to do everything. Of course some fireplaces to add a little bit of a cool roof. Uh, but I think this is the easiest build because of how few materials it requires. This is really something that you're able to do day one or two of your Minecraft world because you really don't need that much to actually build it. Once you get some shears to get some leaves and chop down like three or four oak trees, you should have all that you need to do this. And before I forget to mention, this build is by Avocado. It's a great build, super easy, and even if you don't want to use it as a base, this is a great custom tree design for your world anyway. This looks absolutely amazing from the outside. Of course, the lighting really helps. Uh, the spruce slabs matches in with the oak logs very well, and I think it's just a great design in general. Uh, and I think would be a super fun starter base as well. I love seeing different unique starter bases, and this really is one. The next base we are looking at is super unique as well. This is by Folly and this is a sky base. This would also be an amazing base for hardcore Minecraft to try to get some distance from mobs. As long as you have this thing lit up, especially the roof lit up, you're going to have absolutely no problems with mobs in your base ever. As long as you sleep too, you won't have to deal with phantoms hitting you. But I think this design looks great and while it may seem a little complicated to build a sky base in your early game, I think once you just pillar up it's not really going to be that hard. The build is fairly simple as well, it's just some cobblestone, spruce, and oak, adding in some leaves and different things for decoration, but really makes a great base. It also has fences around the whole outside, so hopefully it's not really too big of a problem having to worry about falling off. As I mentioned though, I love unique starter bases and this is really a very unique build as well. You don't really see a lot of starter bases in the sky or bases in the sky in general so I think this is a great one. It has a water pillar which is how you access it and I think this is a super great base for your starter world. That is pretty much all we have for you today though. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, be sure to drop a like on this video. And if you're new to our channel, hit that subscribe button as well so you can see all the rest of our Minecraft content. We post a ton of different videos, starter bases, mega bases, all the way in between. So definitely check out the rest of our videos. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.